it's in the afternoon, but I still need coffee. All right, uh, I want to comment on this. Everyone else will first, ha will and have, but I want to, I want to talk about it a little bit. So I just found out about the YouTube thing. YouTube is now giving $25 million to mainstream media outlets and giving them a bunch of tools and allegedly a bunch of training and all sorts of advantages so they can, once again, it's against that fake news. Uh, and I, I got to chime in on this. Like, once again, I, I usually don't comment on stuff everyone else is going to talk about and have more interesting things to say about. But at the same time, I, you know, it's, I have been extremely frustrated with YouTube over the past, I'd say around December or so, around the time they demonetized me, which I think was late last year. If it hadn't been for Minds.com and the way Minds works, I would not be making this many videos. I just wouldn't care. It, I, it, I wouldn't do this. I wouldn't do this at all. I, I, for a little while, I was getting... It feels like no encouragement from YouTube to make anything. Like, why? Why would you make something on YouTube now? If... If you're not all, if you're not doing this for like kind of your your income, like this is your job, this is how you're 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 feeding yourself. Oh God, why would you do this? Because YouTube is not friendly to small channels or anyone starting out or anything more obscure. God damn it! It's like ah oh, to turn right around and go. Let's give CNN some money. I mean, these guys really need help. We're going to help out CNN, a large multi-million dollar corporation. <sighs> a few words on CNN. I mean, it's, it's a lot of outlets, from what I understand. But I have to talk about CNN. Because at one point, uh, I think it was a few months back, CNN's ratings had dipped so far down that one night it had fewer viewers than old black and white reruns on Nickelodeon. Like the Andy Griffith show or something like that. It's like CNN couldn't compete with, with black and white era television. Like just old sitcoms from the 50s or something around that time, 50s, 60s. Jesus fucking Christ. I mean, yeah, they need help, but I don't think YouTube is going to be the thing that fixes them. Clearly, they need a new paradigm or so, or a new plan or something, but their problem is they're turning everyone off. And thematically appropriate, everyone is turning them off. Or whatever. There's a there's a joke in there somewhere. I I, I fumbled it. I don't know. I don't care. After I found out the, that YouTube is giving old-timey media, mainstream media, $25 million in investing in them, I literally started... I, I did a search for YouTube alternatives. Like, like I was like, oh, Daily Motion. Yeah, I forgot about them. Maybe time to look into them. Again, maybe maybe kind of dig up their info or Vimo. You know, Vimo is like because I'm seriously at this point I just use YouTube to keep track of certain channels, uh, Red Letter Media, Primitive Technology, uh, quite a few others. But uh, God, a lot of them, aside from a few, a lot of the people I watch on YouTube. I'm actually watching somewhere else and they're linking to YouTube. I'm doing the same thing. I'm just using YouTube as as like a web host because I really don't give a shit what happens on on YouTube, the the site itself. You know, keep my videos, keep track of things, although you're doing a poor job as near as I can tell. I mean, these stats aren't correct and seem to co I'm getting this monthly report it seems to contradict the actual stats they're they're showing me, and the little 
uh, stat bar, stat monitor thing, and that's kind of got me distrustful of anything they say or do at this point, to the point where it's like this this will not last. I'm so moving on to something else. I'm debating whether or not to keep putting stuff on YouTube. I mean, they're not they're not pushing anything I'm doing. They're clearly not pushing a lot of stuff I'm following. Some of the sci-fi stuff, some of the political stuff, some of the um, the social commentary stuff that I watch. It, it it's it just feels like they're very not supportive of their content creators. And then the, I mean to to then turn around and it's like we're going to start investing real money in corporations that that should have tons of their own money and that aren't failing due to lack of funds or lack of access to the internet this just seems this seems bad i don't know how they're going to spin this but i i really got a very poor feeling about this i don't know where the next 6 months are going to go like what what's going to happen here are they is youtube going to fall off because I get a feeling it's going to fall off at some point, like the Live Journal and and MySpace did at some point, or you you Yahoo, what was it, Yahoo 360 or whatever, or G or G Plus, Google Plus. I mean, I just think that at some point it's going to have a tipping point and then fall off, and I don't think it's going to be obvious. And I have to wonder if this isn't part of that. So uh, we'll see. I just had to get this off my chest because it was like really the second I found it, I was like, you know, after all the shit you guys have pulled in the last six, seven months, really, like CNN needs your money. This is fucked up. Anyway, that's just me ranting. I'm done. I'm out.